So everybody loves a good cameo in a movie, but did you know that there are tons of Disney cameos from your favorite characters popping up in other random movies that you may not have even noticed? Let's check them out and let's unlock Disney. What's up, everybody? And I'm doing a video right now that should be a lot of fun. Um, it's something I really enjoy. I love when Disney always does the extras. So like with the Disney parks, I love the hidden Mickeys. I love the extra theming. I love all that stuff. And with movies, I love all the Easter eggs. So this video isn't necessarily Easter eggs, but rather cameos. This whole video is going to be cameos of some of our favorite characters from one movie being seen in another movie. There's some really crazy ones that you would have never found unless like you're dissecting every movie at like half speed. And then there's some other obvious ones like in Aladdin where you see Sebastian because he pulls him out of a hat or something. I forget what he pulls him out of. At any rate, this is just going to be a fun video about all the cameos of our favorite characters and what movies they have shown up in. All right, let's get it going. So I think the best way to do this would be chronologically. So we are gonna jump to 101 Dalmatians back in 1961. There's a scene called the Twilight Bark scene. And in that scene, you actually can see Lady and the Tramp and Jacques, all from Lady and the Tramp, hidden in 101 Dalmatians. Did you see them? Did you catch it? Here, let's slow it down. Boom, there they are. And keeping it old school, in The Rescuers from 1977, you can actually see Bambi and his mom in the background of the Someone's Waiting For You song. And in the Black Cauldron from 1985, there's a number of fairies in a cave scene. And if you zoom in, Tinkerbell is one of those fairies. And now for one of my favorite cameos. I don't even know why, but I just, the Little Mermaid is awesome. But did you know that Goofy, Mickey, and Donald all make a cameo in the Little Mermaid? You have to really pause it. Like a bunch of these cameos, you got to just pause it and just know where they are. But Goofy, Mickey, and Donald are in the Little Mermaid. And then in the wedding scene with Ursula, you actually can see the king and the Grand Duke from Cinderella in the background. Now, next with Aladdin, this is more obvious ones. Obviously, you can see Sebastian, Hercules, and even Pinocchio make a really cool cameo in Aladdin. But here's a hidden one. In the pile of toys, if you look real closely to the left, you actually can see the beast. There you go. Bet you didn't know the beast was in Aladdin. Moving right along, let's jump over to Hunchback of Notre Dame. Now, a lot of people have seen Belle walking in the streets, which I find really cool. But you can also see Carpet and Pumbaa. I, I don't believe this is Pumbaa. Comment below if you think this is Pumbaa. People keep telling me this is Pumbaa. I've zoomed in on this. I see no Pumbaa. But it is Belle and the Carpet. Next in Hercules, Hercules. As foreshadowed in The Lion King by Zazu. Uh, here is Scar as a throw rug. Pretty, pretty morbid, but uh, there he is. And here's the lovely Mrs. Potts making an appearance in Tarzan. Here's a really, really cute one from Monsters, Inc. And it's a tearjerker. But Boo actually hands Sully not just Jesse, but then hands her Nemo. So Jesse and Nemo both are in Monsters, Inc. We also have in Treasure Planet, uh, when Jim's asleep in his room, you can actually see Stitch on the shelf, which is kind of cool. And hopping over to Lilo and Stitch, there's a Mulan poster in Lilo's bedroom. And now for my big stretch in Emperor's New Groove. Is that the toaster from the Brave Little Toaster? I don't know. You tell me. Now, Finding Nemo has quite a bit. Uh, a really funny one is at the very end, Mike Wazowski is just swimming in the credits. It's pretty random. And then at the dentist's office, there is actually a toy buzz in the toy box. And there's a kid reading an Incredibles comic, which is pretty awesome seeing how the Incredibles didn't come out for another year, which is cool. And then another thing that didn't come out was cars. You can see Luigi flying by the doctor's office. Speaking of Incredibles, we have Doc Hudson in the background of cars during the claw scene, which is kind of cool. Again, before cars even, even came out. And then we can move on over to Ratatouille. Awesome underrated movie. I know everybody knows it, but no one ever talks about how great it is. But when Remy sneaks into the house, his shadow is actually dug from up, which is kind of cool. 
and then a very random cameo by Bon Voyage uh, miming in the park. Obviously, Bon Voyage is from The Incredibles. And here's a little fun one from Wally. If you look really close in the back, you can see Mike Wazowski hiding in a trash pile. Princess and the Frog. So Princess and the Frog actually has Jack Skellington in it from Nightmare Before Christmas. He is one of the friends from the other side. You try and find it. I'm not giving it to you, but it's in this picture. Here's a fun one from Up. Probably the most underrated Disney movie on Earth. But if you look closely, you can see Lotso in the corner. Now, when Up came out, this didn't mean much because Toy Story 3 hadn't even come out yet. So a lot of people didn't even know who Lotso was. Next is a great one from Tangled. If you look close in the background, you'll actually see Pinocchio just chilling above Flynn in the tavern scene. Here is one from Frozen. Now, this is one a lot of people know about, but if you don't know about it, you're going to think it's amazing. Rapunzel and Flynn can be seen walking into the castle. It's pretty awesome. And sticking with some uh, Frozen love, uh, Hans is actually a statue in Big Hero 6, and he gets blown up pretty harsh, but he was a bad dude. He's also shown again in a wanted sign in the police station later on in the movie, which is kind of cool. And again, speaking of Big Hero 6, Baymax can actually be found as a coconut in the Moana movie. And there's another scene with the carpet in Moana. I really think they stretch this whole carpet thing as a cameo in all these movies. I mean, just because there's a carpet doesn't mean it's the carpet from Aladdin, but whatever. And let's hop over to Finding Dory. And who is that on a field trip in the background? Riley from Inside Out. And here's a fun one from Coco that I didn't even know until this video. The Incredibles are there. In Luca, we actually can see Donald Duck in Julia's room. And finally, last but not least, in Raya the Last Dragon, we have Hey Hey. Love Hey Hey. I hope you all enjoyed this. I really enjoyed finding all these together. If you know of any other hidden cameos, let me know. Maybe we'll do another video. We'll see how it goes. But let me know in the comments. If you've seen any, I would love to find some new ones. All right, guys.